chain gang of a different sort. State inspectors use a handmade tool to listen for any defects in the decks of the I-80 bridges over the Platte River between Omaha and Lincoln. If it's delaminated, if there's a hollow spot in there, it'll make a different sound. But in order to allow for this up-close inspection of every inch and crack of the 60-foot wide by a third mile long bridges, the Department of Transportation had to close some lanes of I-80 Wednesday. We usually don't go through the, uh, the effort to get the district to provide this level of traffic control. It's all in preparation for a $3 million deck resurfacing project this fall. It includes these bridges and four others built in 2006 when the interstate was expanded to six lanes. The project is going to be to put a waterproofing membrane on all of these bridges and cover it with a, a new wearing surface. The idea is to protect an asset that carries over 40,000 vehicles a day. We look to get uh, at least 40, you know, 40 plus years of additional service life out of this bridge deck, if not more. They found some erosion concerns at the ends of the bridges, but very few problems on the bridges. That's good. That means the bridge is, is uh, a little better than I might have thought. And by doing this detailed of an inspection now, they can reduce the amount of work that the contractor will have to bid out, which all links us back to this tool. Something so crude and rudimentary as, as this definitely could save taxpayers a lot of, a lot of tax dollars. Near Ashland, Andrew Ozaki, KETV News Watch 7.